new food and energy hub right here in our region is getting plenty of attention. 412 Food Rescue is teaming up with New Sun Rising and Sprezzatura to turn the old Moose Lodge in Millvale into a community space for gathering good food and common cause. It'll also be the new home of an innovative venture called the Good Food Project, which will stabilize and transform rescued food into healthy meals and shelf-stable products. Leo Lizarondo is back with us, and for that matter, back home from the United Nations in New York. He's co-founder and CEO of 412 Food Rescue. Scott Wolovich is executive director of New Sun Rising, and Jen Safran is proprietress of Sprezzatura. Welcome. Good to have you all here. Good to see you. Yeah, congratulations on this venture. Before we start talking about the Food and Energy Hub, what's the deal with the United Nations? You were just there last week. Yes. So I was uh, fortunate enough to be asked to participate in a forum with some leaders in you know um, different industries to talk about the UN Sustainable Development Goals and what people can do and how we can all collectively create impact. Well and obviously you created attention with 412 Re Food Rescue itself. You've been here before talking about it but just as a quick reminder what, what's it all about? Well our mission is a direct response to the fact that we waste 40 percent of our food supply and we all know that on the other side of that one in seven are food insecure. So what we did is create technology to help manage the logistics of moving food, surplus food, from those who have it to those who need it. Really cool. Yeah. So Scott, tell me about New Sun Rising and this whole notion of a food and energy operation. Sure. So uh, New Sun Rising has been around since 2005. Uh, we work throughout southwestern Pennsylvania uh, to help build both nonprofit and small businesses. Um, so we help them with planning, uh, access to funding, and, and different development resources. Uh, in Millvale, where our home base is, uh, they had actually gone through a sustainable planning process called Eco Districts, which led to this focus on food access. Um, and during that process, we started to work with small businesses, um, which is where uh, Leia, Jen, and I met. Um, we came up with this joint concept to actually activate an old uh, Moose Lodge in Millvale um, that's both going to increase food access and education for the region, but also uh, increase our ability to produce uh, clean energy. So there's a, a solar and a microgrid project that's a piece of that as well. So we're really excited to uh, bring that innovation forward and inspire other people to do similar things in their communities. It's Brett Satura. What's that all about? And how does this make such great sense for uh, an entrepreneur like you? John? Well, um, Sprezza Tour, we're a catering company and cafe. We're housed in the Millville Food and Energy Hub. And how it makes sense is we're really interested in making healthy, accessible food for people. Um, so in Millville, we know from market research that a lot of dollars leave the community through the form of people searching for food. So how can we create the Millville Food and Energy Hub as a place for people to come and really get a good, great meal at a great price? That's really terrific. What And the Good Food Project is part of this too? Yes, so this has been a vision two years in the making. Um, we first presented it at the Uprise, and um, we won in the Uprise. And basically, it's um, all about taking surplus food and doing the next step, which is transforming it into ready-to-eat meals and distributing that to our nonprofit partners so that the people we serve can have you know easy access meals. You know, the same way that they would have it maybe at um, you know a, a, a gas station. But this version is definitely healthy. And and that's our vision along with um, Scott and Jens. Really cool. And your vision, Scott, where do you think you can go with the Food and Energy Hub? I think historically these these old social halls and churches have played such an important role in connecting people and, and building the fabric of our communities. Um, we've seen those dissipate over time. So um, obviously churches have had a rebirth in our community through breweries and concert venues. Um, we're really excited to sort of return the social hall to its previous pur purpose, which is bringing people together, mm -hmm. convening, breaking bread, uh, building relationships. A lot of people have come in and, and shared stories about you know their their wedding there or um, you know having met their future spouse um, during a high school dance at the facility so there's a lot of history there wow. uh, we're really excited to open that back up to the public and also as New Sun Rising serve the 150 or so businesses and nonprofits that we uh, work with every year so that they can increase their impact mm -hmm. really really exciting well congratulations to all three of you Scott Wolovich from New Sun Rising Jen Safran Sprat Satura yes. catering right yeah. and <laughs> Lizarondo from 412 Food Rescue congratulations keep up the good work thank, thank you Next up, we're off to the cutting edge of the life sciences as Life Sciences Week returns to our region. Please stay with us.